<laughs> Opening for the Wednesday, May 4th, Oldham County. It's not recording. It's not recording yet. <laughs> As soon as we record. <laughs> can I take the agenda for a minute? When we start recording, can I take the agenda for a moment? Can I take the agenda for a moment? Sure. One more, man. Do what you want. <laughs> Yeah, it says it's reconnecting, it so I don't know what the problem is. Start playing that funny song you got picked for you. <laughs> you learn a lot about people by listening to them. Really is now three o'clock. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we got help. We got help. Technological difficulties. Please stand by. <coughs> we just officially opened it. Okay. Didn't we need to reopen it? I don't know. Especially now. Now we can open it. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, did you get back with Mr. Coons? Did you get back with Mr. Coons or whoever it was? Yeah, what did he want? Is, is oh, jazz. yes, I did. Took care of that. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. It shows it on Yes. So he's doing live right now. <laughs> he made a, a, a mark. Yeah. Three years ago, she was. So it's working? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, are we good? She wasn't We're good. We're going. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. can't bring those in today. Ready. Ready now? Okay, we are officially open now. Uh, before we start the agenda, I would just like to welcome Mr. Chandler, who is our new uh, board member. Uh, if everyone gets a chance after the meeting, if we haven't had a chance before, just to welcome him to the code enforcement meeting. Okay, uh, starting with the old business, we're going to start out with the approval of the minutes. And there should be five sets of minutes. Has everyone had a chance to review them?
Are there any questions or concerns? I've reviewed your minutes and I move that they be accepted as presented. We have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. So approved, say aye. 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 Motion is carried. Okay, moving to citation 0456. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give this board is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? I do. I do. Uh, before we start with the citation, uh, just to follow up on some previous cases. Uh, first case to follow up on is the subway issue for everybody who was on the board back then remembers that we had the issue with the signs. Uh, that issue actually went to the planning and zoning and they were granted the ability to use the sign, not necessarily Subway, but the people who own the property that Subway is renting it from was granted the ability to use the sign. So that is now a closed case, just to give everybody a heads up. Next issue is uh, a follow up on citation number 449. It's 1906 Creekview Court, Crestwood, Kentucky. If you recall, there were some issues. The case came before the board as a uh, home occupation violation where he had some heavy equipment and stuff stored at the property. Uh, he was given some time to remove that equipment and he was given until today to come into compliance with some nuisance issues that was brought before the board by one of the witnesses. Uh, you can look at the photos and see uh, he has cleaned up all the debris and stuff that was laying around. Uh, I did get a complaint from the person who has initially complained that he has a pile of dirt right there. Uh, I, I don't know that a pile of dirt can be considered a nuisance issue. It's not in the floodplain right there. Uh, I'll leave it to y'all's discretion, but in my mind, I believe he's compliant with, with what we've asked at this point. And from and what we reason, can see from the pictures, the, the material is allowable fill. Uh, there's no uh, garbage debris, right. you know, it's rock and dirt. Okay. I see no problem. Uh, and just also so that everybody's aware, he has since gone out of business, so he may have that bobcat on his property now as a personal piece of equipment. It is no longer a commercial item, which we may get another complaint on that later down the road. Just give y'all a heads up. All right. No questions, I'll move on. All right. Next case is Citation number 456, 850 Spears Lane, May the 4th, 2016. The uh, case is 16.0025, citation number 456, 850 Spears Lane. Its a, our owner is Edgar L. and Eva Janes. The issue at hand was that they had two part, or two residents on the same parcel uh, and they had two addresses one of which was not an issued address they took care of the address issue but nobody ever contacted me uh, to let me know to to inspect the other place that was in question uh, i did get contacted prior to the board went in there it is not being lived in it's not a residence so i'm recommending that the case be dismissed at this time I move to dismiss case number 0449. Uh, I'm sorry, 0456, 8050 Spear Lane. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Well, motion's carried. Okay. Next case, <clears throat> citation 0457, property address is 4501 North 393, date is the day May 4th, 2016. 
Case number is 16-0040, citation number 457. Again, address 4501 North Highway 393, LaGrange, Kentucky, 40031. Property owner is Lonnie Odom. His address is 10110 Dorsey Hill Road, Louisville, Kentucky, 40223. Hearing was not requested. He is, however, present. Uh, violations are no, uh, nuisance ordinance, KLC 89-800-846, sections 1 and 2. Solid waste ordinance, 04-830-217, illicit discharge, section 3.1.5. And solid waste ordinance, 97-830-53, section 4.2, open dumping. On April 8, 2016, Mr. Vic Peak is our Oldham County Site Inspector, reported <clears throat> that following a complaint that he received from Division of Water, uh, he had conducted an inspection at the listed property, noted a pile of trash and construction debris down in the floodplain on the property. He submitted those photos. The only reason I accept those photos is because he's out of our office. Uh, it is. <clears throat> Again, more photos that he had taken. Okay. After he submitted that to me, told me about it, I looked through the file. It was noted that the property had previously received a notice of violation in February for nuisance-related issues uh, regarding trash and stuff like that on site. Uh, you can see the case was uh, 160012, photos that were taken back in February. Uh, you can see by the photos, there was quite a bit of trash and build up there. However, on uh, February 22nd, a uh, follow-up inspection was done following that, and as you can see, he had cleaned all that up. Everything looked pretty good, so the case was closed. On April 11th, following the complaint from Mr. <clears throat> Peak, I did another inspection of the property, noted there was large... Uh, trash and debris piles on the property in the floodplain, very close to the creek. Some photos were taken, and due to the recent notice of violation, rather than going through the whole process again, we issued citation, or I issued citation 457 by posting it on the property and sending it certified mail to the owner. You can see by the photos uh, right here, there's see the pile of trash and over here is a bunch of debris and stuff <clears throat> again trash a little closer and you can see where the where the citation was posted on the door on uh, April 14 2016 received the email from the owner uh, the reason I included was Basically, he was saying that he had been out of town in Paris and Rome and some other places uh, that he came back and found the notice. So he's acknowledged that the notice existed and that there any previous problem that and that previous problems had been taken care of pretty quickly. And he was wondering why he didn't get a phone call about it. Some other things you, you're welcome to read the email it goes into a whole lot of stuff that's really not relevant to this particular case. On uh, April 18th, uh, had a meeting with the uh, property owner, Division of Water, Oldham County Solid Waste Director, the Oldham County Site Inspector, and myself, and we can, uh, was conducted. We pointed out some specific items that needed to be taken care of to the property owner. On May 2nd, uh, he con uh, property owner contacted the code enforcement officer and reported the issues had been abated. An inspection uh, was conducted with, uh, along with Division of Water Inspector Alan Bond and noticed that the issues had indeed been abated. Some photos that were taken. See, the, there was a major difference between then and now. Did a really good job of getting everything cleaned up. Uh, again, the uh, violations were nuisance ordinance, KLC 89-800-846, sections 1 and 2, storage of junk, 
uh, chemicals, limbs, debris on the property, no owner should maintain or keep a nuisance thereon, nor shall any such person keep or maintain in such premise in a manner <clears throat> causing substantial diminution in the value of others' property. Uh, Oldham County Solid Waste 04830217, uh, illicit discharge 3.1.5. In addition to illicit discharge, the discharge of spills and dumping and or the disposal of materials other than stormwater, including but not limited to industrial and commercial waste, commercial car wash waste, sanitary sewage, garbage, yard waste, and trash. Those are the ones that apply here. Petroleum products other than uh, including used motor oil as well as leaf litter, grass clippings, and animal waste into MS4, whether directly or indirectly, are prohibited unless authorized by NPDES permit. Uh, solid uh, OC Solid Waste 9783053, Solid Waste, Section 4, Disposal of Solid Waste, 4.2, Open Dumping of Solid Waste, includes bulk waste on all lands, i.e. roadsides, hollows, rivers, streams, lakes, etc. By any person is prohibited by KRS 224.40, Section-100, and this ordinance. Uh, boils down to is the property owner either dumped or allowed to be dumped trash and debris on, in the floodplain on his property. Okay. Evidence shows clear and continued violation of those particular ordinances. Uh, the recommendation on this is to issue a fine for the 22 days that he was in violation or in noncompliance and hold that fine in abeyance until he completes his construction project. Uh, pending compliance with all ordinances. Site visits were February 5th, February 22nd, April 11th, April 18th, and May the 2nd. Subject to your questions. Okay, we have no witnesses. Mr. Oldham, Mr. would you like Oldham. to have the opportunity to come up and speak? When you come forward, do you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give this board is true and accurate to the best of your belief and knowledge? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have the opportunity to speak. Okay, the first issue on February the 5th, I'm building this house and it's taken me a year, about six months so far. And it's just me and a guy on the weekend. I'm a school teacher, come after school, work three or four hours at night. Uh, originally, I got the first email. The flood that happened April the 4th or 5th of last year washed a lot of debris and, and all that debris in that in that floodplain. So it had been there since April 4th of last year. A lot of the stuff that you see on the end of the thing, it was some of the, um, <clears throat> it had some basically treated wood and had been painted white and I'd got from a friend and I, I put it down there. So that was the material that was in, the, and then also I had some logs because I'm, I've got my own sawmill and I'm logging the, the wood that I'm putting inside my house. And originally they were up on top of the hill, so then I, I put them down in the floodplain. So I had 12 logs down there at that time when the flood happened. So that was the debris in the floodplain, and it had been there well over a year when I got the first violation on our notice of violation on February the 5th. We came out and we cleaned it up, and basically there was some stuff up around the house that I'd thrown out of the second floor window out in the front yard and it wasn't stacked very neat or nothing. And it did look bad, but I didn't think since I was in construction that, you know, it was a big deal. I don't have any neighbors. I turn on a light at night, I can't see anybody. But it is a highly visible area right there on 393. So I got a complaint. I, I fixed the complaint within two weeks because I am compliant. I, I don't try to do stuff malicious. And if I know about it, I won't do it. Um, also on the February 22nd date, um, when I moved some materials that, that were moved to comply with the first ordinance, um, I had to move those same materials to comply with the second one because the first ordinance was, or the first one, the state said I wasn't in violation of a floodplain. 
or the materials that were in there. The only thing that I was in violation was was with the county, and then he wanted it cleaned up and tarped. So that's what I did. I cleaned up and done what Mr. Green asked me to do, and then I was compliant. The main issue that I have is the April 11th when I got the reordinance of the complaint, as you as it was stated in my email. I went on a trip of a lifetime. I took my family to Paris and Rome, and it was real windy here for two weeks. And the, the main issue of contention is the pile of garbage, quote, garbage. It was garbage bags, and it had a lot of building materials in it, but it's garbage bags. It might have a cup or styrofoam, and when I was going to burn it, I was going to take all that out and then transfer it and then throw it away. And the pile was tarped, and it was, to my knowledge, it was tarped and it was under there, but it's not it's it's really not an issue here or there I, I won't do that again but that was the only thing that was different in that picture than was different in the may 5th picture or the february 5th picture for the exception of the wood that was stacked along the hillside you'll see that the first picture like vic took there was like two big piles of wood and they were probably seven or eight foot tall coming off the hill and then I restacked them for Mr. Green on the hillside real nice and neat. So that was the only thing different between the two. And um, since then, Alan Bond has came out, and I'm pretty much clear with the state on the, on the stuff. I have two more weeks, but I took two days off school this week. It was uh, treacherous in the rain and the mud, and it, it took me a long time and quite a bit of money to finish it and get it all right. I, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not gonna put nothing back down there. I don't. I don't want to be here. I don't like. I don't like being here. I feel like I'm in trouble, and I'm really not in trouble. I shouldn't be in trouble, and I want to comply and do what, do what's right. So, if there's issues, just I, I'd like just to know. You know, if I did something wrong, tell me. I won't do it. So, okay. I'm not putting nothing back down there. So. We're gonna ask you to sit down for just a minute. I have a little bit okay. of a process we have to go through, and then we're gonna talk probably a little bit more. Anything that you would like to rebuttal? No. Okay. All right. With no rebuttal, I'm going to open up to the board. And does any of the board have questions of either Mr. Green or Mr. Oldham? Um, only, I guess the only question I have would be maybe for both or one. Um, the recommendation was to um, find violation and hold any fine in abeyance until the project is complete. But do we have a time frame on that to completion? I, I should be finished by July. When I get out of school, I've got about two more months. Do we just want to leave that open-ended or? Uh, um, if, if you're asking me what I, was, what I was suggesting was just leave the fine in abeyance until such time as the project's complete. Once we get a certificate of occupancy, if he's not in any violations, then I'll close out the You'll case close it and out. go on from there. So we'll let that we'll let that CO trip you to do your final inspection and close Correct. it. Correct, and it's basically it's just an incentive to keep from having these issues in the, in the future. Well, I'd recommend if it goes till July, some re some uh, schedule of regular inspections to make sure that they're you know by the uh, code enforcement officer or by Vic. Peak or by the code enforcement officer. Okay. And uh, if Mr. Oldham would allow him to go on the property to make those inspections down in the floodway, then we can make sure that it's clear and come July, if he hasn't had any other debris piles, then he'll be, uh, be able to close the case. But at least some evidence that he hasn't been in violation. Right. So you're comfortable with July? Sure. Okay. Any other questions? All questions I have. Any other questions from any of the board members? So the only thing I'd say is if he's saying July, you would make it your August meeting because it's the first Wednesday in August that gives him the full month of July. Yes. Okay, any other questions by the board? Okay, the next process. Um, any closing statements from either of you? No? And just one more point of clarification. You don't know how long the construction could take depending on a lot of circumstances in life and whether it was what. If there's no violations between now and, and August, the August meeting, uh, but the construction is still ongoing, then that fine would just be held in abeyance pending, um, maybe be continued to 
give us an update. Well, I'll report it back in August I can always and say he's either, he's, either got he's either got he's either in compliance or he's still building and we need to continue it. Well, and and at which point there would be a issuance of a certificate of occupancy right. when the but project the fine, is complete. But if he doesn't have the project completed by August, the fine would still be held in abeyance. I just want him to understand yes. that it's not you have to get that certificate of occupancy by August or you're going to be fined. As no, long yes. as he's not in violation, that will continue to be held in abeyance. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, we're just going to bring it back in for review in exactly. August is pretty exactly. much what exactly. we're saying, right? right? Mm -hmm. to make sure and it could sure be, and, and you're saying it could be extended if need be. If need be, right. right. Okay. Any other discussion? Being none, do I have a motion? Oh, I'm sorry, we need to start with uh, procedural matters. Gentlemen, sit down, please. Uh, yes. Um, I'll, I move that the, uh, on procedural matters, that the proper, the citation was properly issued on April the 11th, 2016, posting on the property and certified mail to the respondent, uh, who is the owner. Notice of the hearing was given to the respondent on uh, April the 11th, 2016. Um, the respondent is present at the hearing today. And we don't want to do, yeah, that, that, that concludes my motion on procedural matters. Okay, we have a motion on the floor for procedural man, matters. Excuse me, do I have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, moving on to the nuisance ordinance. Uh, I move to find the uh, nuisance ordinance violation was committed, uh, KOC 89-800-846-1 and KOC 89-800-846-2. And the violation was observed by the officer on April the 11th and permitted, and, and there's substantial evidence in the record that the violation was permitted to exist for 22 days. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay, motion carries. And uh, on the zoning ordinance violation, I moved to find that uh, Oldham County zoning ordinance violation was committed um, because the location is zoned C01, the activity being conducted there, namely dumping of trash debris in the floodplain on the property, which is a violation of county ordinance OC solid waste ordinance 04830217 illicit discharge section 3.1.5 and Oldham County Solid Waste Ordinance 97-830-53 section 4 disposal of solid waste because this is one of the permitted uses um, not one of the permitted uses allowed in this zone that concludes my motion okay we have a motion on the floor for a zoning ordinance violation do I have a second second we have a second Okay, we'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. And moving on to the penalty and remedial order. Um, I move that the remedial order state that the property uh, be held in compliance uh, during the construction phase of this project, uh, which um, say we're going to and we're going to review this case in August. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a motion for the remedial order uh, to hold the property in compliance during construction with this uh, citation being reviewed in August. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. Can I just add, Sorry? do you want to add, is this where you want to add that uh, uh, where there should be regular scheduled uh, inspections, whatever it might be. Uh, yes, or? I would amend the motion to state that we would like uh, regular monthly, we want to say monthly inspections uh, uh, up through that period With um, until we bring it back into the, uh, to this board in August. Well, I amend my motion. Okay, the motion has been amended uh, to include with regular inspections um, through through August, did you say? Up to uh, August? Up to, uh, up up to, to the to August board meeting. Okay, uh, as I have a, a min, do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And on the civil fine, um, 
This uh, is a minimum of $10 a day with a maximum of $75 a day. Uh, but uh, did we, are we calling this a second offense? Uh, it wasn't really cited the last time. It was just a notice of violation. Well, it, whether you consider it habitual or not, I suppose is. Yeah. Go with the first offense. First offense, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and so I'm going to move that we find uh, in the amount of $75 a day for 22 days which is $1,650, and that that fine be held in abeyance until the completion of the construction project if no further violations are um, observed by the code enforcement officer. Let me clarify, observing a violation, let's say is not you would also have to notify so that the property owner would be aware of the violation and just if there's just because you saw it doesn't mean that we're going to take the fine out of abeyance so it needs to it needs to be or reported back to y'all and at that time y'all would make the decision if i see it if i see a violation i do looks like i do anything else i'll take a picture of it bring it back to the okay so board, I'll, I'll, and then at that point y'all can decide I'll amend it to say, uh, I move that we find um, in the amount of 22 uh, days at $75 a day, which is $1,650, and that amount be held in abeyance until the end of the construction project, um, provided that there are no further notice of violations issued for that time. Okay, we have a motion on the floor for a fine of $1,650. With this fine be to be held in abeyance until with the property being completed, provided that no further violations are issued. Is that correct? Close. No further notice of violations no are issued. Notice. Yes. Okay. Notice of violations are issued. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Okay. All right, Mr. Oldham, um, as you have been advised uh, and so heard and you'll be notified uh, officially is that the fine of $1,650 will be held in abeyance uh, with you uh, not having any further violations and that you're, we will be reviewing you monthly or however uh, the code enforcement officer does that and then we will come and see you or we will be addressing this again in August. All right, good luck. I'll send you a letter. Thank you. Okay, sir, any other business? That's all I have. All right, before we go to the next step, can we... Uh, you well, I was going to say, I think I missed the part where we introduced a new code board member. We did. We you did, were, okay. You were talking, I, and, I and the next step is that uh, for those of us who have been here for a little bit of time, we've had the opportunity to work with Daniel, Daniel Finley, and uh, Daniel Finley is going to rotate, or is moving on. <laughs> not sure what the terminology is, but we're not going to have the opportunity to resigning, work with him. Resigning your position? Resigning. Leaving the county attorney's office. Okay. And um, early retirement, semi retirement. <laughs> I may be back. All right. Well, for On those, my terms. You will be from driving this. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's boring. Given the opportunity, we would love to have the opportunity to work with you again. We certainly appreciate all the leadership that you have given us and certainly appreciate that you've been here and helped us make this a better place to be. Well, I really appreciate that. I mean, three years, I think it's been about three years since mm -hmm. we've, it's gone by really fast. Yeah. Really fast. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, some of the board members are still the same members that were, were here mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've done a good job of keeping, working within the constraints of the ordinances to keep the, the county in, in a clean and orderly shape. So I really appreciate the work you guys do, and especially uh, Planning and Zoning and Terry and, and your predecessor as well, and Jim. Uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor working with all of you. Thank you. Likewise. It's been a pleasure working with you, and good luck in your uh, endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.
You're not leaving the county, are you? Oh, no. I can never do that. <laughs> okay. He's tied to this county like an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Daniel. It's been a, a pleasure to work with you, and we want that opportunity again. Absolutely. Okay, being any other business before the, this board? I move we uh, adjourn this meeting. Okay. We have a motion. Do I have a second? All right. Motion. We are closed. That was really easy. But I keep you here for two hours. <laughs> if it was, if it was necessary.